Welcome to Daddy Jack's Film Blues. We're going to make some Swedish meatballs here real quick. Make a one pan dish, serve with over noodles, over rice. We're here to get a little bit of olive oil in my skillet. Get that plenty hot. Okay, you see right here, ground pork. Four Mile River Farms ground beef, some red onion, a little bit of just chopped, chopped red, chopped peppers, a green like Italian peppers. They get a little bit of, a little bit of heat to them. Salt, pepper. Okay, I'm here. You got one egg. I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream. Egg. I'm gonna put some breadcrumb, some breadcrumb. That sour cream is gonna make it nice and uh, kind of break down, make that little bit of a uh, green onion. Okay, a little more breadcrumb. All right. A little more salt. I'm gonna put some fresh garlic. Yeah. Make sure your hands are clean. Right in the hot skillet. Kind of big for Swedish meatballs, they get bigger and bigger as I'm going along. I'm trying to rush them a little bit. Now you can make these ahead of time. Roll them ahead of time also. We gotta shrink down when the fat you know cooks out of the pork and the beef. Okay, we're gonna brown them all up. We'll be right back. Brown them up real good. You know, medium heat. Not too hot. Okay. I like to cover them a little bit at this point. Just like kind of steam them. We're gonna brown them off. Gotta kind of turn the heat down a little bit. Okay, so they're all browned up nicely. Nice color, all set up. So what I do? Put some flour. That's gonna make our gravy. That's a nice chicken stock. We'll cook a little green onions in there for a change. Okay. That's the kind of consistency we're looking for right there, right? For a gravy. So thin it out with just a little hot water. I kind of want a little pink color. Just a little bit of tomato. Okay. A little paprika, you know, a little bit of the blackened seasoning for the paprika to color. Okay, just like that, I'm going to pop 
We'll pop it in the oven now for about 20 minutes. All right, let's check those Swedish meatballs. Oh yeah, I can smell they're already done. Look at that. Yeah. Couple forks. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Sour cream. Once you put the sour cream in, you don't really want to boil it too hard. Okay. Over the O'Neill Theater. We do have fun. Right? 
And uh, have, a, have a blast. Hey, keeps us off the street and out of jail. You, and can't, then, you can't miss James here. See that? And then we get to come here for dinner. I mean, <laughs> how could you ask for a better life? It's <laughs> Daddy Jack's Cold Water Blues here. Beautiful downtown to London. Home of the future Coast Guard Museum, deep water port. History, like if you want to, if you want to uh, learn something about history, come to London for about, about, oh my about God. a month. Right? And you can just study the history. Benedict Arnold burned this town years ago. Uh, the building next door, we're going Daddy Jackson, built in 1790. Got the original rafters, the original beams, and uh, cobblestones that were in the streets down on, across from the train station. But then here we are, Bob Jack on camera, Chapman's Restaurant, 165 Bank Street. Did you ever know about a brave revenge? No. There's a guy named John Basinger who wrote what it is, was intended to be Come here, Sherry. a, thank you, so wonderful. Here, Sherry, this is beautiful wife, Sherry. Oh. Sherry and James Sniffold, cornerstones in New London right here. And when you become homeless, James, <laughs> you can come to First Congregational Church, yeah. and on Christmas morning, yeah. I mean, we do five days a week, every, you know, breakfast. all week long. We do breakfast. Yeah. But Christmas morning, we can't do just our normal stuff. Jack is the one who helped me create Christmas morning. We do omelets to order it for 140 people in two hours. Yeah. Like one hour paper hangers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's so nuts. Love you. Okay. Best chef in the world.